Have you ever seen that movie Before Sunrise? I don't think so. So, it's about this American guy and this French girl. And they meet on a train. And they just have this connection. You know, like, a connection like everyone wants. Yeah. And when they're together, they just talk forever. Actually, that's what the entire movie is, just them talking. Have you ever had a connection like that before? One bourbon, one scotch, one beer. Thank you. What do Dallasites talk about? Craft beer and how douchey everyone is. Dallasites? I, I always thought they were called Delisians, you know, like people from Paris. They're called Parisians. Can we all just agree to just call them Parasites and end it? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yuck! I know that you're like this ultra hipster who makes beer in his own home, but like you could do better. Can and have. Your last batch tasted like straight piss in a bottle. <laughs> That was last October. Okay, since then I have a whole new recipe, a top secret method. Hey, what is it, man? Uh, I leave the pumpkin seeds in. We call it extra pulp. <laughs> That's disgusting. And I'm, I'm gonna drink it. Look, it's expensive. Hey, <laughs> do you guys ever hear the one about the man who walked into a bar and said, "Ouch"? <laughs> Did you just put the punchline into that question? Yeah. <laughs> it's a new type of comedy I've come up with called Sucker Punch. I've never been so offended by such stupidity. No, it's genius. It's efficient, like like Steve Martin always says. Brevity is the soul of wit. Shakespeare, but close. Did you guys hear about the one where the guy walks into the same bar for 30 years? He dies alone from cirrhosis of the liver. His last word he ever spoke was, ouch. <laughs> Los aires del bandoneón, sueño al sur, su luna inmensa, cielo al revés, busco al sur. How's it look tonight? Oh, well, beautiful women, beautiful music, shitty beer. Shut up about the beer. So, you had a dance tonight? I don't know. I don't know why you come here week after week and don't dance. Yeah, why is that? I don't know. I guess I'm just waiting for the right partner. It sounds weird. It sounds religious. Whatever that means. <sighs> I don't know. I think if you're going to come here, you should dance. But that's just me. Speaking of which, there's a beautiful lady over there that needs dancing. Mm. So... <clears throat> this is tasting women is better than you tasting beer. So, this was fun. Yeah, you really are not that bad of a dancer. You know, I say that to lower your expectations, but then I just, I surprise you. Catalina, vámonos! Well, I should go. Catalina. Marco. Shit. 
still, I don't know how hard it is to say, hey, what's your number? Please, may I have your number? Hey, here's my address. Can I have anything? If I was going to call you, what number would I call? Hey, instead of blowing me up, why don't you just blow me up? I gotta go. beautifully. Thank you. This was nice. What was your name? Catalina? It sounds like a Spanish name. <laughs> Mucho gusto. The pleasure was mine. And your name? Mark, but my friends call me Marco. Well, this was fun. We must do it again sometime. I would like that. Okay, so what's the problem then? The elevator speaks to you in this weird robotic voice as it's going up floors. It's the 21st century, man. You could live on the first floor or take the stairs. It's the principle of it. What principle? You okay, man? Yeah. How was the dance? It was nice.